Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The Hantan River Basin in Korea was recently designated as a UNESCO Global Geopark, the fourth such park in the nation. Covering a total area of 1,165 square kilometers from Cheolwon County of Gangwon Province to Pochon City and Yeoncheon County of Gyeonggi Province, this park encompasses a number of historic locations, including the Jeonggongni prehistoric site and a Goguryeo dynasty fortress, as well as cultural sites such as the Chalwan Peace Observatory. Gyeonggi Province will provide diverse support for the park in terms of geological research and tourism program development. Gyeonggi Province has been sponsoring the operation of the Gyeonggi Industrial Technology Education Center on the Paju campus of Duwon Technical University. At this center, education as well as dormitory accommodations and meals are provided free of charge to all students through provincial support. Since its establishment in 2008 and through to 2019, graduates of this vocational education center have enjoyed remarkable annual employment rates of approximately 92%. For the first time in Korea, the Gyeonggi Province Fire and Disaster Headquarters is integrating local video monitoring systems for the more efficient management of large-scale disasters. This system will enable video feeds from the individual CCTV crime prevention systems of cities and counties of the province to be viewed at emergency centers for timely responses to disasters. To date, the integration of the CCTV systems of the Kyungi Provincial Government Complex and seven localities has been completed, with the systems of 20 more localities and the Korea Expressway Corporation to be added by the first half of next year. On July 10th, Kyungi Province Vice Governor Kim Hee-gyum visited Daebu Island of Ansan City to encourage resident participation in a provincial initiative to restore coastal environments. Speaking with residents at the Daebu Marine Headquarters, Vice Governor Kim explained plans for the elimination of illegal activities in coastal areas. Expressing confidence that Ansan will become a model area if it proactively responds to illegal coastal activities and trash disposal issues and implements detailed plans for the positive utilization of coasts, Vice Governor Kim invited the active cooperation of related provincial and local officials. In the second general meeting of its 345th extraordinary session on July 13th, the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly elected standing committee chairpersons for the second half of its term. Of a total of 12 chairpersons, seven were first-term assembly members, while four were second-term members and one was a third-term member reflecting the Assembly's high regard for the expertise, experience, and activities of first-term members. Following the election of the Assembly Chairperson and Vice Chairs at the first General Meeting on July 6th, the Kyungi Provincial Assembly has completed its organizational roster. Kyungi Province announced plans to investigate the health status of radon-emitting bed users. During a six-month period running until December, the province will investigate damage suffered by users of these beds and undertake improvement measures. The province will also propose related institutional improvements and response measures to the Korean National Assembly and central government. The Gyeonggi Province Firefighters' Competition ended on July 9th after a three-day run. During this contest, 200 members representing 30 regional fire stations of the province competed in six events through five categories, including firefighting and rescue activities, as well as bodybuilding. The overall championship went to the Hwasong Fire Station, while the Paju and Yangju Fire Stations finished in second place. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.